Yo guys, Jonathan here, and as a wise man Ice Cube once said, today was a good day because finally Apple dropped their brand new, completely redesigned MacBook Pros. Now personally, one of the things I was most excited to hear was the introduction of a space gray MacBook Pro. Kind of hoped for a matte black to be honest, but not gonna lie, the 15 inch MacBook Pro in space gray has my name all over it. This also applies to the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So in addition to the brand new space gray color, both are thinner and lighter. The 15 inch MacBook Pro weighs in at four pounds and is 15.5 millimeters thin, whereas the 13 inch MacBook Pro is three pounds and 14.9 millimeters thin. Now, without question, the most attractive thing about these MacBook Pros, aside from the design, is the brand new OLED touch bar. So what it is is an all glass multi-gesture touch bar that at its core is meant to replace the function keys on your MacBook. Right off the bat, that is awesome, but what really takes it to the next level is the fact that it adapts to whichever program you're using and not just those function keys. I got a chance to mess around with Final Cut Pro with these new MacBook Pros and seeing your entire timeline in that OLED bar and being able to scrub and move around through that is crazy. This trickles down to Safari where you can no joke see all of your tabs within the OLED bar and switch back and forth, so for me, I am really excited with this. Now beyond functionality and programs and basic controls like brightness and volume up and down, this also brings Touch ID to the MacBook Pro. The immediate obvious benefit of Touch ID in your MacBook Pro is when you're purchasing something online, you can then authorize that with your fingerprint. But beyond that, what is actually cooler for me is you can now log into your MacBook Pro with your fingerprint. Now you may have noticed alongside the 15 inch MacBook Pro, Apple dropped two brand new 13 inch MacBook Pros, which may be a little confusing. What it really comes down to if we break it down is there is a 13 inch MacBook Pro with the OLED touch bar and one without. The baseline 13 inch MacBook Pro does of course have lower specs, less ports, but the main difference between the two is the touch bar. Now with that baseline 13 inch MacBook Pro, that brings the death to the 13 inch MacBook Air. Apple's reasoning behind that is that the new MacBook Pro is thinner, it's faster, it's got a better display than the MacBook Air, which I agree with, but to me it would have made way more sense just to call it the 13 inch MacBook and have that live alongside the 12 inch MacBook because this way is really confusing. Regardless though, I'll have an unboxing of the brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro on the channel tomorrow, so definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. On top of that, if that is not a compelling of enough reason to subscribe, I have teamed up yet again with one of my favorite YouTubers, Philly D, and we are giving away not one, but two brand new 13 inch MacBook Pros. To enter, first and foremost, just make sure you're subscribed here on my channel, maybe drop a like if you're feeling like being awesome. Awesome. That'll give you a chance to win the first MacBook Pro and for the second chance head over to Phil's video which is linked here and also down below. Now as excited as I am with the new MacBook Pros, it was a little bittersweet because Apple straight up Lucille the nuts off of a few things we've come to love with the MacBook Pro. Take with the new MacBook Pros, we say goodbye to the glowing Apple logo, the SD card slot, and last but not least, the MagSafe power connection. Now in that order, I will get over the glowing Apple logo. The SD card is a little bit of a bummer because now I will have to use an adapter for that. MagSafe, I actually really liked, maybe just because I was clumsy, but let me know what you think. But beyond that, after everything is said and done, the new MacBook Pros are left with five ports, four Thunderbolt 3 ports, and surprisingly, a headphone jack. Quick note, like I mentioned, the baseline 13 inch MacBook Pro is a little watered down, so that only has two Thunderbolt ports. But the awesome thing with these Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are in the USB Type-C form factor, is they are chameleons as far as functionality goes. With any of these ports, you can charge, you can transfer data, you can power displays. And I'm not gonna lie, this may be my next setup, but these new MacBook Pros can power two 5K displays, so many pixels. Beyond that, more positive things with these MacBook Pros are a bigger trackpad. And when I say bigger, I mean way bigger. There's a better display, so not only is it brighter, there are more colors and a higher contrast ratio. And I'm actually really excited about that. For me, that is something I always noticed on a MacBook Pro that it was never as bright as using something like an iMac. So I'm welcoming that with open arms. There are better speakers, and if they're anything like the 12 inch MacBook, we are in for a pleasant surprise. Obviously there are new processors, better specs, fast performance, yada, yada, yada. But what I am most excited for as far as that goes is there is now a two terabyte option as far as storage goes on the 15 inch MacBook Pro. So all in all, the new MacBook Pros are looking really impressive. I am super stoked for the 15 inch MacBook Pro, but again, tomorrow I will have an unboxing of the brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro. So stay tuned for that.